Before welcoming our new baby this spring, we need to transform our spare room into a nursery. First things first, we need to remove the dated carpet and replace it with new flooring. We started by removing all of the furniture in the room. After it was cleared out, the carpet could be pulled up. We used a pair of pliers to pull at a corner of the carpet until there was enough to pull up by hand. We also used an X-Acto knife or box cutter to cut the carpet into easier to handle strips and then rolled them up. Once the carpet was pulled up, we did the same thing with the padding underneath. Be careful here with the staple strips so you don't cut your hand. Once the padding was up, we used a crowbar to pull up the staple strips around the perimeter of the room and pliers to pull up the staples throughout the room. To finish prep, we swept up all the debris to ensure a clean surface to lay the new flooring down. Now that the space is prepped, it's time to lay the new flooring. We decided to use Malibu Wide Plank LVP in French Oak Crown for our entire third floor as its textured surface on each plank mimics the look and feel of real wood, adding warmth and character to any space. With the wide and long planks, they create an illusion of a larger, more spacious room, which is perfect for nurseries and really any area where openness is desired. Installing it is a breeze, thanks to the superior click lock system. Each plank effortlessly comes together, ensuring a seamless and stress-free installation process. With its 20 mil core, this flooring boasts exceptional resistance, standing strong against everyday wear and tear for years to come. And with kids and large dogs, a durability is a must for us. For the hallway and the guest room that are also on this floor, we wanted to seamlessly transition the floors across all the rooms. So once we came to the doorway of the nursery, we continued the same measurements as we did in the nursery to maintain continuity. This required some additional cuts around the doors and into the closets in the hallway. But with the width of the planks and how easy they are to cut, this came together in no time. We couldn't believe how great everything looked after the last plank was laid. Each room is completely transformed and looks so welcoming and warm. We also can't get over how true to hardwood the floors appear as well. Unique grains are etched into every plank and really gives that timeless feel. But of course, it's not just about the looks. It's about durability too. Malibu Wide Plank is waterproof, scratch-proof, and stain-proof, making it ideal for high traffic areas and of course those inevitable spills and messes. And here's the best part. Malibu Wide Plank offers all of these features at an affordable price point, especially when it's on sale. So you get that premium quality without breaking the bank. If you're ready to elevate your space with elegance, durability, and affordability, Malibu Wide Plank Luxury Vinyl Flooring is the perfect choice. And we wanna give a huge thank you to Malibu Wide Plank for sponsoring this video and helping us transform our space in time for our daughter's arrival. We love our bedroom but the dark gray carpet was starting to look a little worn and actually made the room look smaller than it was. Time for some new wide plank flooring from Malibu. We started by emptying the room. Wall art, chairs, nightstands and lamps, and finally mattress and bed frame. Carefully, we removed all of the baseboards and made sure to mark them on the back so we knew their order for reinstallation. Once all the baseboards were out, it was time for that gray carpet to go. When installing vinyl plank flooring, prepping the floor is very important, especially after removing carpet. Be sure to pull up any remaining staples or tacks from the floor and make sure that the subfloor is smooth, level, and free of any dirt and debris that got left behind. I was beyond excited when the delivery truck brought the new Malibu Click Lock Luxury Vinyl Plank Flooring in the French Oak Shade Marinas. We started the installation process by taping spacers to the walls next to the floor. Then we laid out our first row of boards and connected them end to end. We took our time with this first row to make sure the connections were even and that the entire row of planks was level. Each plank clicked into place by anchoring the tongue of the board into the groove of the preceding board at a 45 degree angle before locking it into place. Boards can be easily cut to size by scoring the top of the plank with a utility knife several times and then snapping the board apart with your hands. As we laid the planks, we made sure to stagger the seams of the boards. We also alternated boards from different boxes so any color variances were distributed throughout the floor for a more natural look. Each board is five feet long and over nine inches wide and looks just like French oak. 
The embossed hardwood surface is smooth to the touch, but has a beautiful wood grain texture. And the back of each plank is covered with an attached underlayment that keeps these durable planks quiet and comfortable when you walk on them. The Superior Drop Lock System gave us a seamless floor as we added each plank one by one. This floor is gorgeous. Malibu flooring captures the essence of a genuine wood floor while avoiding the artificial flatness seen in other vinyl options. The low shine gloss adds just the right touch of brilliance, enhancing the wood grain texture that mimics the beauty of authentic French oak. But it's not just about looks. This floor is extremely durable and completely waterproof, combining both style and function effortlessly. We loved it so much that we installed it in our family TV room as well. The previous laminate flooring was shiny, unnatural, and had an orange tint to it. We were able to lay the new Malibu wide planks directly over the old floor. The timeless color and soft browns in our new floors have the natural look of hardwood, but are also durable and so comfortable to walk on. We couldn't be happier with the new look in both our bedroom and TV room. Beautiful to look at and soft to walk on. Walking barefoot is going to be a treat. Our new Malibu wide plank floors beautifully withstand daily life and have transformed these rooms with timeless natural beauty. Thanks to Malibu Wide Plank for sponsoring this video. After moving into our new home a few months ago, the first thing we wanted to do was change out the old flooring to make the space feel lighter and brighter. We started by clearing out the room and removing the existing floor. This floor had seen better days, so we decided to remove everything down to the concrete slab. Luckily, we were able to keep the existing baseboards, but the quarter round had to go as well. Once the flooring was gone, we rolled up the old underlayment and replaced it with a 6 mil poly. This is a must when installing LVP over a concrete slab to help keep out the moisture. We are using Malibu Wide Planks Click and Lock Waterproof Luxury Vinyl Plank Flooring in the color French Oak Berkeley. We started in the left corner of our living room and attached spacers to the wall to keep our first row from sliding under the baseboards. We decided to start our first row with half of a plank. You can easily cut these planks by marking a line with a square, scoring the plank with a utility knife, and snapping it in half. The first planks are installed with the groove side sticking out so we could install the new rows into the groove and click them into place. If the plank doesn't lay perfectly flat, you can easily unclick it, reinstall the plank until you hear it properly click together. After that, we figured out that nothing in our home was square since this is an older house. So we grabbed a laser level, set it up, and followed that line to ensure that our first row was laid as straight as possible. When it comes to the end of the row, it is time to make a cut. Then, with your leftover piece, you can begin your new row so long as there is a 7 inch variation between the seams. Doing this, you'll ensure that your seam pattern is staggered since you don't want two seams right next to each other. You don't need to be strong to install this flooring. The pieces slide into place easily, and actually, if you're too rough on the seams, you could break them. We did use a mallet in some areas to make sure that they were totally clicked in, but only on the short side, never the long side. Installing this was perfect for beginner DIYers because of the easy installation, and once you lay the first few rows and get into a groove, you can keep moving until all of a sudden the whole room is done. We brought our flooring from the living room into the kitchen, entryway, and dining room. We were nervous to have the two rooms meet again, but the planks perfectly matched up, clicked together, and flowed through the whole house. There were a few more difficult cuts to make, and for this, we utilized a skill saw for the cuts around the stairs and in some of the entryways. Once the final piece was laid, we could not believe the transformation. It honestly feels like a different house. It's brighter, feels bigger, and so luxurious. The semi-gloss finish gives just enough shine, the floor never feels flat. And actually, it looks like real wood floor. Not to mention it's waterproof, scratch resistant, and easy to clean and mop, and as dog owners, this is important to us. We truly couldn't be happier with our new flooring. I hope this inspired you to take a second look at your old floor. Thanks to Malibu Y Plank for sponsoring this video.